Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Eileen. Welcome to Eileen's World. I am so excited to film this video today um, because according to my luxury handbag video, there's a ton of nosy people out there. So I'm sure you guys uh, would be curious to see what I have in my luxury shoe collection. So if you want to see what I have, then just keep on watching. So let's start with the oldest pair in my collection, and that is going to be the Gucci Princeton slippers. Um, these I've had for, I think, almost five years, and they're still in pretty good condition. I always like to resole my shoes before, um, before I, I wear them. I got these in a size 40 because they are really narrow, and I have super wide feet. Um, so it took a while for it to actually uh, break in but after they've broken in they're so comfortable they're a nice casual shoe that you can wear with jeans um, and they're great for the summer too because of you know the design the next Gucci shoe that I have is the uh, horse bit loafer these I bought off of the real real and I love them because I love the look of the loafers but I wanted the version that I could actually wear as regular loafers and have the option to wear them as meals as well. I love the white color. It's great for the summer. The only thing though is that I went to a cobbler because I wanted him to fix up the tips of the shoe um, because they're starting to get worn. But he said that because of how the leather is untreated, he won't be able to paint any of the wear, which is unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world. And the last pair of Gucci shoes that I have in my collection are the Jordan loafers. Um, in comparison to the Princeton slippers and these white ones, um, this is probably the stiffest leather that I have, which is dangerous because Again, I have really wide feet. Surprisingly, it didn't take too long for me to break into these. These are practically my everyday work shoes. And again, they're really cute to wear with jeans, to wear with skirts. They go with all of my work clothes, so I love them. Next up is my perfect summer shoe, and that would be the Hermes Oren Sandal. These I did try to purchase secondhand, um, but unfortunately I was not able to find my size. I got these in a size 40. I looked on the real real. I think I looked on Tracy as well. Um, even the ones that were my size, the price wasn't even that much lower than purchasing it retail. So I bought these directly from Hermes. They're very narrow. And I last year I got my bunion chopped off <laughs> and I thought that once I chop it off that these would fit perfectly and unfortunately that wasn't the case but what's nice is that it has this opening um, so my bunion can just perfectly <laughs> fit into that area but these are the perfect summer shoe they go so well with dress they go well with, they go well with everything and I know Steve Madden has a dupe and I'm kind of tempted to buy the white version because they're practically identical um, but these they do give it some time and they they will stretch it's just that because I only wear them during the spring and summer once I put them away for the fall and winter and I bring them out again it's like I need some time to break break them back in but these are I love these and I would love to add another color to my collection the next pair of shoes that I have are the Stuart Weitzman. Oh my god, these are so long, they don't even fit into the shop. These are the Stuart Weitzman, um, I think they're called the 50-50 boot. If I get the name wrong, I'll insert the correct name up there. Um, these I bought from the Stuart Weitzman outlet. I think they were around $400. And what I love about these ones is that they are suede, so it's definitely a fall and winter shoe. And I like that the bottom is kind of more like a combat boot style and the back is the stretchy elastic. My only concern is that once it stretches out too much, what's gonna happen? They're not gonna stay up on my legs anymore. Then what am I gonna do? Maybe I'll go, I'll go to a tailor and get it, get it like altered or something. But these boots are great. I mainly wear them with dresses. Um, I don't really wear them with jeans. 
they're again they're more of like a work shoe for me but they're really cute um, to wear in the in the fall and winter I do have a couple pairs of Saint Laurent shoes um, as I mentioned before I worked for them a couple years ago um, and so I've owned a ton and maybe I'll even film a video of like shoes that I no longer have or shoes that I regret um, but these are the ones that have stayed this is my favorite it's the Saint Laurent Bianca platform um, what I love about this is that it's ultra comfortable because it's a platform and that it has this wood bottom and it's so 70s and again another perfect summer shoe I don't get to wear it that often but I like to have the option of having something like this another very similar option is um, once they stopped making the Biancas which are these ones they made the Ferras so I have the Ferras in uh, a black velvet so I thought this would be perfect for fall and winter I don't wear heels anymore again I have wide feet, everything is really uncomfortable. I've had too many bunion issues that I have PTSD from wearing high heels. So I just stick to platform. Um, so this is nice to have that way if I need to go out for a dressier event or something, I can still look put together with these. And then the last shoe that I have in my Saint Laurent collection are these Lulu Mules. And these are really cute because they have they have the little gold YSL logo right there. Um, these do come in two heel heights. I can't remember which one this one is. I think this is the higher one. Um, and I know it's not a platform, but I, it still gives me enough support and it's low enough where it's comfortable for me. These are really cute to wear with jeans. Um, and a great, another good summer shoe when you want to feel a little bit more put together and look a little bit more elevated and polished. And so instead of wearing like my Hermes sandals, I will wear these ones. So that is it guys. That is my entire designer shoe collection. And before you say anything that I have too many expensive shoes, I just want to let you know that when you have foot issues like me, you got to invest in some good shoes and some real leather. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, and I will see you in my next video.